Mom, you should come and see this. What is going on, y'all? It is Far Gas here. Hopefully, you're having a great, wonderful day out there in the wasteland. Friends, today is September the 30th, and this is the news that you need to know for Fallout 76. So sit back, relax, and let's talk about it, y'all. And now, hopefully, you were enjoying your time this past weekend with the double score, double mutations, and the script surplus events going on in Fallout 76. And it looks like the camp showcase theme for October is going to be Nuka Cola. And also, there is going to be a spooky camp competition going on the month of October. More information on that coming very soon but starting October the 3rd at 12 p.m. Eastern and running until October the 7th at 12 p.m. Eastern there looks to be a caps of plenty and double mutations weekend and now normally we wait a little bit longer into the weekend to record these news sessions that way we have the most up-to-date news for every vault dweller out there in the wasteland but we are recording this right now on 926 because of the Hurricane Helene that is coming through the southeast right now and Georgia is going to be hit by a category 2 hurricane so I wanted to go ahead and get this video done and put it up to schedule for members that way members can check it out and if you're seeing this on monday at 8 a.m either i don't have internet and i don't have power so i couldn't change anything or there was no news change from the time of recording this video until then so it is the most up-to-date news for everyone out there in the wasteland thoughts and prayers to everyone going through this hurricane's path y'all be safe out there in the wastelands of appalachia and now there was a huge announcement at the Xbox Tokyo Game Show by John Rush, the creative director at Bethesda Game Studios, talking about later in the year, Vault Dwellers can expect to have pets at their camps in the wasteland, and I am so excited for this. They showed off a dog and a cat. Now, we don't know if it's just only going to be a dog and a cat, but as it stands right now, that is what to expect to be able to be at your camp in December. Now, as far as anything goes, there is more information to come later later on once more is flushed out and they are ready to share that information with Vault Dwellers as it gets closer. But y'all have to let me know in the comment section below, are you excited for this change to Fallout 76? Because I know I would love to have a cat or a dog at my camp in Appalachia. And now if you missed last week's episode where we covered Bethesda responding to the caravan criticism, make sure to check out this video from Dart Zion. They are a wonderful Vault Dweller, amazing camp builder, and just all around great human being out there in the wasteland make sure to check out his video where they go over bethesda responding to the caravan criticism and now if you've been looking for more information on the ghoul update coming to fallout 76 in 2025 make sure to check out this video from dtd gamer going over everything we know about that update so far and now there are a lot of changes in Fallout 76 and Angry Turtle is going over. Is the Strangler Heart Power Armor worth it in 2024 after this last update? Make sure to check this video out. You may be surprised. And now Tier just put out a video talking about the legendary crafting system change in Fallout 76 and asking an important question. Are the cursed weapons compatible with this new legendary crafting system in Fallout 76? Now, we all know how powerful the auto axe is, right? But what is the most powerful mod that you can put on there? Is it the electrical? Is it the flame? Or maybe it's the poisoned? Well, pineapple goes over this test, and you might be surprised at which one is actually stronger. And now if you've been wondering on how to get rare outfits in Fallout 76, make sure to check out this video from the Nightmare Duke on how to get the hardest outfits in Fallout 76. And now Wiggle is testing the explosive effect on one of my favorite heavy weapons to use in Fallout 76. And you may think I'm talking about the Gatlin, the 5 mil version. No, friends, I'm talking about the Gat Plas. Oh, my Lord, I love this thing. And make sure to check out this video because you might just pick up a Gat Plas for yourself. Thanks so much for taking time out of your busy day to check this video out and let me know what you're most excited for with these future updates coming to Fallout 76 in the comments section below. Thank you so much to the channel members for the continued support. Y'all have a great, wonderful day out there in the wasteland. Peace. Love ya.